Unlike open-heart surgery, the procedure is performed on a beating heart, accessed through a small incision on the left side of the chest. A one or two inch opening is made between the ribs to access the beating heart. The incision site is near the tip of the heart and guided by ultrasound, or an echo, taken through the esophagus. Using an echo, the surgeon guides the harpoon system through the muscle into the left ventricle. The device tip is placed on the flap, or leaflet, of the valve needing repair. When the position is confirmed, the delivery system is activated by pushing the plunger on the device. A needle, with a self-forming knot, is inserted into the leaflet and withdrawn. Once the knot is anchored, the device is removed, leaving only a string or cord attached to the leaflet. These cords reinforce the valve and help it function properly. Additional cords are placed as needed through the same device while minimizing risk of bleeding. Once the proper number of cords are placed, the device is removed and the cords are tensioned. All cords are then adjusted while the heart is still beating. When the cords are tensioned, the two leaflets are realigned, repairing the valve so it can open and close properly. Using an echo, your surgeon confirms the ideal cord length, ties the ends to the outer surface of the heart, and secures them with a small felt square. The surgeon then closes the small opening in the chest, completing the procedure.